Good morning, you guys. So I posted a question on Facebook asking you all if you would like me to start doing some instructional, very amateur recipe videos. And everybody was on board with it. Um, I just want to tell you this is hard for me because not only am I camera shy, but um, I'm also very technologically... Um, how should I put it? Uh, I don't know. I'm not good with technology, <laughs> including cameras, phones, and anything else with a lot of buttons. So I am going to do the best that I can, and at least this will give you a little bit of an idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting over a cold. Um, but at least this will give you a little bit of an idea of how I can take just a few ingredients and have an end result like what you all see. I get asked all the time, you know, do you, do you do you edit your photos? How do you make things look that way with just a few ingredients? And really it's simple, um, but it's not easy to understand unless you really see the steps. So that will accomplish um, part of that and you'll be able to see uh, the beginning, you know, the beginning of it to the end of it. So here we go. <clears throat> um, the first recipe that I'm going to do today is um, it's going to be a sheet pan pumpkin pie and this should be easy because I don't have a camera yet where I can utilize both hands so I will be stopping and starting a lot also I am going to be uh, switching cameras to take photos for the blog so there will be a lot of stopping and starting and hopefully I can make it smooth when I go to edit the video <clears throat> again I have never edited a, vid edited a video before so that will be um, a learning experience and pretty interesting for the first time. So don't laugh at me. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys and we will see how it goes. So here's the ingredients for the sheet pan pumpkin pie. Um, I thought this would be a fun spin on just a regular pumpkin pie. It's going to have a thin layer of pumpkin filling and that, you know, buttery crust that we all really like. So uh, I'm thinking that's another thing I need to tell you before I start. Um, my recipes are a work in progress. I gather the ingredients that I think it's going to take and I just go with it and I really hope that it works out in the end. Um, usually they do work out. I've been very, very lucky. 95% of them work out. The others you can see on my fail tab on the website. Uh, so these are guesstimates right now, and you'll see if they work or not. That's another fun thing about these videos is you'll be able to tell um, what comes and goes in the final recipe. So I am assuming that this is going to take um, a fourth cup of sugar, one egg for the egg wash. I have a little bit of sparkle sugar left over for, from some other recipes. I think that might be pretty on the top, and I don't know how much pumpkin yet it's going to use. So as we go, you can jot it down, or again, you'll see it on the blog post. It will definitely take two pie crusts, so one box of pie crust. I have a cutting board, a rolling pin, and some flour. So I'm going to stop the camera now so that I can get my supply shot for the blog. And when I come back, I will have already rolled out the two pie crusts to fit the 9 by 13 sheet pan because I need two hands for that. And again, I'm holding the camera, so that would be impossible. Uh, but you will see all the other details when I come back. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I realized that video taping and doing the blog post is going to require um, just a little patience on your part because I'm gonna have to put the camera down uh, to take my step shots for the blog. So I'm going to leave the camera rolling as I do that because those are really quick. So just bear with me as I learn the ropes with all of this. Um, <clears throat> what I did while I had the camera off is I rolled out both of the pie crusts and obviously it didn't fit completely into the sheet pan so I trimmed the side edges, the long edges, and I just added them to the ends. I think once it bakes up it's going to be fine and as long as this one fits on top of this one, the end result's going to be pretty. You're not going to serve it on the sheet pan. No one will ever know that those corners are not there. 
so it really doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add the thin layer of pumpkin pie filling. I have the sweetened pumpkin pie filling. Uh, if you use the unsweetened pure pumpkin puree, go ahead and add some cinnamon and sugar and jazz it up however you'd like. Uh, but I, I use the simple one here that's already made for me. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop some on. And I'm going to start uh, small here because you can always add more, but you can't take it away. And I'm just going to smear this thin layer. It might not look like a lot right now. Uh, and I really don't want it to be a lot with this recipe. Um, otherwise, you might as well just eat a regular pumpkin pie. This is more like a bar, maybe like a stuffed cookie consistency that I'm going for. It will need some more though. And you really don't want it to ooze out and make a huge mess in your oven or be too messy to eat and enjoy. You just want the slight hint of pumpkin filling so that you know it's pumpkin filling. Do you guys like pumpkin pie? Do you like pumpkin? I was never a huge fan. I'm still really not. <clears throat> I mean, I'll eat some of it, but I prefer apple, apple pie and <laughs> caramel and chocolate. But it is the holidays, so I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I am so sorry. I'm like on the last day of my cold here, hopefully. Uh, anyway, I think that's going to be sufficient. Once it bakes and melts together, I think it's going to be really good. So I'm going to place the other. Pie crust on top. Working with one hand is not easy. Okay, I'm going to put you down just for a second and even that out. Hold on. I'm glad I cleaned this morning. Thank goodness, too, for sugar. Because it does cover up so much of the ugly little parts that otherwise would show and not look very nice, which you will see here. I told you these are going to be real, authentic, and non-edited. But what you will see too is how, you know, when you think something might go wrong, it isn't really going wrong. You can always work it out in the end. You can add a glaze. Nobody really cares. Uh, they're happy to have a nice special treat made by you. There's the ugly truth, you guys. That's what it looked like because I kind of messed it up trying to work with one hand. But it's not going to matter. I promise. You will see in the end when I take my final photos. Uh, you'll never know that it looked like this in the beginning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Sprinkle some of the, well, actually I'm going to do the egg wash first so that the sugar sticks. This is just one egg um, beaten together with just a splash of water. You can use cream or milk. Some people do that. I find that the result is exactly the same, so I save the milk and cream. I don't use it. And... Now we'll see how much of this sugar it actually needs. I want it to have a really nice, crunchy kind of sugar glisten on the top when it's done baking. So as you can see, I did not use anywhere near one fourth of a cup. So in the recipe, I will probably put one eighth of a cup sugar. Um, but I like to always be safe with my amounts, make sure that I have enough ready just in case. And now I'm going to sprinkle on my decorative sugar. You can find this in your baking section at the grocery store, specialty cake shop. I've actually enjoyed having this on hand. It goes a long way, for me anyway it does, because I'm not much of a craft, crafty baker. But as you can see, it gives it such a pretty extra little touch to it. And as it bakes and when it's done, it's going to really look cute. 
So there's that. I'm going to make a few slits, diagonal slits, so that as it bakes, it has pretty lines in it. And then when we slice it, it'll be kind of decorative. I am going to preheat the oven to 350. When I come back, I'll let you know how long it was in the oven, and we will see the finished product. And then you can watch me uh, make it look pretty. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. Hey there, so we're back. Um, I just took it out of the oven. I let it cool here for about oh eight minutes or so. It was in the oven a good 20 minutes uh, at 350, um, but I did want the golden crust and I didn't want it too golden because I'd like to see the top. Uh, I did not spray the pan. I really don't spray a lot. I find that it gets a lot crunchier and easier to slide off without the spray sometimes. And that is a new pan, so I didn't spray it. You can spray it or use parchment. Uh, if you make the recipe. So right now I am just going to cut the edges off. You will not see the edges most likely in the blog post, but they're not going to go to waste. Trust me. Everything gets either given away or munched on around this house. <laughs> so I'm going to just cut the edges off and make it kind of a nice square shaped pie so that way I can get some decent photos. If I were just serving this and not doing a blog post with it, I'd definitely do it rustic because it has that really nice uh, homemade rustic look to it, which I, I really like. And I would probably just serve it directly on the sheet pan, actually, since it's called a sheet pan pumpkin pie. But I have a website that I have to keep updated with new and delicious goodies and I'd like it to look really pretty for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. My dogs are the luckiest dogs on earth because they get to eat so many treats that fall onto the floor. And I'm lucky too because I never really have to clean the floor because they take care of it. Okay, so I think I'll make them into squares. It's so challenging doing this with one hand. They have a thing called Google Glass. You've probably heard of it by now, but it is a camera that gets mounted on glasses or pretty much anywhere and then you have two hands to use with that and I don't think it's available uh, to everyone on the market yet but as soon as it is I'm really hoping that I can okay I'm back uh, sorry about that the battery on the camera died all I did though is um, cut them into squares and sprinkle some powdered sugar on them this is the end result of the uh, blog pictures that you'll see up on the site. Doesn't look like much now, but I think the pictures turned out really good and it is tasty. So I hope you guys give it a try. Let me know what you think and if you have any uh, ideas for it, I'd love to hear it. So we will see you next time. Bye.